All right, guys, something from Real Steel. I haven't done a Real Steel in a little while, and this one is kind of cool. There's some things I like about it, and there's a lot of things I don't like about it. Um, one of the things that I don't like, and this is just a configuration from Karsten, who is the owner of this knife. This is the uh, Real Steel Burns. Uh, just, just totally forgot that. Um, I don't really love the big bead. I'm not a lanyard or a bead guy. However, I love this bead in and of itself because it's tritium. So tritium is never going to fade like just regular loom does. Like the glow-in-the-dark spider codelica that was under the studio light, that this is going to fade and go to just green again. Whereas tritium is going to stay this color forever. And I love that. Like, this bead is super cool. The bead did not come from Real Steel. That came from Mix Glow, who is a, a tritium supplier. And I think this is a super cool bead that would be cool on like a keychain or something like that, I would totally rock that. On a knife like this, eh, you know, eh, not my fave, okay? But it's kind of cool. So this is really like a gentleman's folder-ish. <clears throat> uh, cool milling pattern with the triangular uh, milling in the titanium. It does have a pocket clip. Which works okay. Not the greatest clip out there, but it works great. It works fine. Um, but it is a front flipper, and, and it's got a light detent. So put the light detent with a front flipper, and I'm not a huge fan. Yeah, I just, I don't know. My front flipper days are really over, I think. Although I am talking to somebody about a deal for a front flipper doing a trade deal with my Shira Goroff um, Ursus for a uh, front flipper knife. So that is, stay tuned for that. You, you may see videos on that coming soon. All right, so specs on this guy are four and five eighths, eight and one eighth overall, 3.5 inch blade, 0 0.012 behind the edge. It is a VG10, which is a really good steel. A lot of people do... Um, kitchen knives out of VG10. This uh, Spider Codelica is VG10. Like a lot of people use VG10. It's a good steel. It's easy to work with in the field. It's easy to strop back to life. Um, you don't necessarily need to use a sharpening system to bring VG10 back. So that's really cool, and that's where it really shines, is in a lot of user-type blades. So just a really kind of a cool knife. It is an Ivan Bregg Bregganitz design. Um, and it's just overall kind of cool. I don't love it. It's about $175. So price point... Uh, uh, you know, you're. I don't think that's out of line, but I don't know that it's a great deal, if that makes sense. You guys let me know down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on that. Um, I think I saw it at Blade HQ um, just right before filming. It works great. It feels good in the hand. It works decent in the pocket. Um, I kind of like it, but I don't love it. Yeah. For me, it's like it just, it's an eh. Even Karsten said, hey, I sent it because he just sent it. He sent a bunch of knives in a big box. Um, he's the guy who sent this very cool double knife ninja. Um, but he sent a box of a bunch of stuff and he told me, Hey, if you don't want to film this, don't film it. It's not going to hurt his feelings. He just wanted me to check it out. Um, which kind of brings up a, a good point. Like, 
I film, mm, I, there's only been a couple of knives that have been sent in in the almost four years I've been doing this that I have not filmed for one reason or another. Um, I have filmed some really like cheaper knives, some real gas station knives. Like I, this is kind of a challenge going out to all of you guys and gals. Uh, if you've got something unique, crazy, whatever, let me know. Hit me up in an email, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, whatever, and let me know you got something. I want to show really kind of all of the knives. Um, you guys know I, I kind of talk about this. I go from like a $10 knife to $10,000 knives, and that's kind of where I live in my collection. But I love showing things that A, I don't like, or B, I know nothing about. This is the VC Edge interface, number 79. Um, a lot of other channels only do knives that they like. And I have a problem with that. I don't think that's the right way to go for me in my channel because I feel I owe it to the viewers to show things that I don't like and to talk about them because what you like and don't like is really subjective. It's really personal. Like, I love my Hellraisers. And a lot of people just don't. And that's okay. I love my Frank Fisher battles. And I remember when I got my first battle and I posted up, I got comment that that was the ugliest knife they'd ever seen. Which didn't really bother me. It bothered me a little bit because I knew the person that made that comment. And it was on a video called I just got my grail knife type of thing. So like I get it. You can say what you want. I thought it was a little bit rude and distasteful in that context to say it was the ugliest knife you'd ever seen when somebody is just posting up that they just got their grail knife. But so I try to show every knife. I want to show all of them because just because I don't like something, you may love it. You may be exposed to something that you've never seen before. And I was able to show you something that you never saw before. And maybe you go search it out and you buy it and you love it. Even though I don't like it. So if you've got something obscure, weird, different, what have you, hit me up. I would love to see it and share it with my small, tiny piece of, of, of the YouTubes. So, yeah, let me know. A little challenge to you guys. Send me some weird stuff. Hook me up with, you know, content. Of course, it's always appreciated. Um, and it makes me kind of research a little bit and dig into what it is that you've sent. Um, so, yeah, hit me up. I want to see the unusual stuff. I want to see the customs. I, I want to see all the knives. So if you've got something, you're willing to do some shipping, um, yeah, hit me up. I would totally appreciate it. So there you go. I've rambled enough. I think I talked about the knife for like three minutes and I rambled for like seven, but hey, whatever. It's my channel. You could have clicked off. I'm glad you didn't. If you didn't click off and you are still here, comment Tritium or Trit down below in the comments so that I know you made it to the end.